Is it thirty and seven thirty? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Look at this more. We have we're up to the mission. So what do we need to remember from yesterday to help us today? We had a machloek between Rabbi Gamliel and Rabbi Yeshua. Rabbi Gamliel said that a woman is usually neman. A woman is usually neman to say that this is the person who has boiled me and myself and my children are kosher to marry a coin. And Rabbi Yeshua said, we cannot rely on her. Amr Rabbi Yosef, Maise Betinoiches, Betinoiches, there's a story with a Tinoiches, a young girl, Shiyarda Lamalois Maim Minayim. She went to fill up a jug of water from the well. And I guess she was going through uh, some type of secluded area. Benenza, and the Rechman was told this little girl was raped. So the Shaila is now, would she be mother to marry a coin? Amr Bechna Benuri, Imroid Anshi Ha'ir. If right of that city would be people that could marry, then we'll assume that the man that raped her is Kahuna, and therefore she's allowed to marry a kain. She doesn't become a zaina. I'm sorry? Because she's Kahuna. But if she was raped by a mamzer, then now she's a zayn and she's no longer can marry a coin. So there's a very interesting question over here. What if, what if there's 50 people, there's 50 people who are able, who are not able to marry a in that city, and there's 51 men, let's say there's 101 men in the city, and 50 of those men are able to, are not able to marry Kayanim, 51 men are able to marry to him. So she has a roiv, and because of that, she could marry a coin, right? What if the person she wants to marry is the coin, and he knows he didn't rape her? So now does that mess up the roiv because he's now no longer in the pot? Why isn't he in the pot? He's one of the 50. Because that... he for sure wasn't the guy who raped her. So are, so are, now, so are 50 of the other people. But the problem is now, but he, he himself now has the child. Am I allowed to marry her or not? Is she mutter? And if I look at it, the chances are she either was novellas by those 50 or by those 50, because it for sure wasn't me. I don't, I don't know why this, this is a... For sure, 50 people didn't do it. He's one of the 51 that didn't do it. Oh, so you're saying that he could still remain in the pool? Yeah, he's not being, he's not okay. being taken out. It, it, it's actually a machalikus to rejoin him if he could remain in the pool. So some of the Rishonim hold that the Rajma holds he doesn't remain in the pool, but the other Rishonim hold, yeah, he remains in the pool. It's a rumor. We're, we're saying the chances are she was developed by some kosher, even though he's asking the Shaila, he's still in the pool. So, so no, you don't. It's not a test. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> did I pass? Don't you said to change the direction of the tables? You need sixty percent anyway. Because the Rav said, when we were talking about changing the direction of the tables, the Rav said, we have to have 60%. That's good. So that's one child. What about... We didn't have... Because <laughs> yeah, that was, it was by executive order. Once you have COVID, executive order. Okay. Then we had a different child. What would be if there's 70 people who, who, who did not, who, who are Muta Lakuna, and there's 69 people who are Asha Lakuna? So she's Mutta Lakuna, right? What if 10 of the people who are Mutta were her family? Were people, if they were boiler, they would make her into a Zaina, her brother, her uncle, no, not her uncle, her brother, her brother in law. So are they removed from the group? That was also a Shiloh that was asked. So most people hold, when you're talking about this type of roif, you don't, you don't have to take that into account. That's not a problem at all. And then there was a third Shiloh. There was a third child. Up. Hang on one second. Hold on one second. Now I'm confused. Those people, if they if they were boiled, would usher her from the kahuna. So why aren't they counted in the half that would be usher? Because would usher her. 
there that that's a good art because they're medayik from the lotion of the Mishnah in Raiva Ir Masi in Lakahuna. If Raiv the city could marry Lakahuna, it's not a problem. We don't look at it if Raiv Hair would make her into a Zayn or not. Uh-huh. We look okay. at Raiv people are Muta Lakahuna. They're medayik from these words in the Mishnah. So when you're looking at this Raiv, you just look at with, with a Raiv people, Muta Lakuna, Ash Lakuna, even though if they were the perpetrators, it would have possibly come to And there was a third Shaila that I'm trying to remember. Let, maybe you'll come back to me soon. A Gavaldi Shaila that Rabbi Kivager asks um, in, in the Mishnais. In the Mishnais, the first Shrel brings out Rabbi Kivager. So he asked a very interesting Shaila. Let me think if I could remember it. But I, I can't remember it offhand. So I'll, I'll try to tickle my memory later on. Amale Rava, Rav Nachman. Rabbi told him, Machim, Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri, the Amr Kaman. Who is Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri holding like? He has to fit into a box. Either Rabbi Gamliel, if it's like Rabbi Gamliel, well, then I will be right. We said Rabbi Gamliel holds that she's mutter even beroid Sulam. And he Rabbi Yeshua, I feel beroid Ksher Mami. It's going to be possible. So who is the Tana who holds that only by Rabbi Ksher is a mutter, but by Rabbi Pesulam it would be also. So right away, the Rimi Gash asks a question. Rabbi Yechon ben is he not? Sure. So he has to conform to Rabbi Gamliel or Rabbi Yeshua. Why can't he have a third cheetah? That if there's a right being matter, she's mutter. If there's a right matter, she's also. Zok the Rimi Gash, a rule that we need to know all around the Mishnahis. That sure, any, any town that could argue on any other town. But when the Mishnah quotes a story, that's not a new cheetah. Whenever the Mishnah quotes a story, it's automatic that it's either supporting one Tana or it's supporting a different Tana. And since our Mishnah is a story that occurred, it's not just saying that the Rebbechen Benuri has a third Chita, it must conform with one of the existing Tanoim that we have. Now, the other question is, the other question is, we know that in the previous Mishnahis, where the woman is believed to say who her husband is, she said, this is my husband, but... The kind when he's wearing the kuna. Here it's atinoikis. What happens at atinoikis? So there are those who learn that the chiddush of our mishnah is even though it's atinoikis who might not have known, who might not have known who the person was. So there's no tiny here at all. Even though there's no tiny here at all, it's still going to be believed. So this is this is a little bit of an extra chiddush. Okay, so let's see the Gemara. And, and Toysus talks about, um, Toysus talks about uh, that it's possible that she didn't know who it was. Another thing is here it was Nensa. By Nensa, she's not going to know, she won't necessarily recognize her rapist. She says she's a Tana, says she was Nensa, so Lav Daka, will she have a tightness bury? Yet you see over here that we're relying, I guess, on the Chazaka. Okay. So let's see what the Gemara says. So who is the Tana of our Mishnah? What's the reason why? What's the reason why it would be uh, only mutter if Roy's people are kosher Second. Um, okay. Amalei, hachi amar Rabbi Yudam Rab. This is what Rabbi Yudam said in the name of Rab. It's speaking big kroy neshel tzipur. How you might say the story was in the day of the Shuk. Rashi says. It was the day where people come from other places to Tsipari. So it wasn't only a question of the Roy River City, but there were also an influx of people that came from other places for industry, for a show. And Roy River, the people that come from, that came to the show, were also Kesherim. So we have a double Roy. There's a Roy of the city that are Kesherim. And there's a roiv of the people who came that are kosher, and it's going according to Rabbi Yeshua. So even though Rabbi Yeshua normally holds that, even if it's roiv kosher, she's still going to be aser. But if there's two roivs, even Rabbi Yeshua would be moida that it's a mutter. Uched Rabbi like Rabbi Ami taught us that there's a mila of having two roivs. The Amar Rabbi Ami, who shahaisa sia shall be adam kosherin oiveres l'shal. There had to have been. An influx of people who came to the show that were all Kshem Lukahuna. 
I saw in Voss's Nias recently that there was a, a show, a trade show, and it was only for Satwan Chassidim. Did you see it? It was a trade show for Satwan, because basically Satwan is trying to boost the businesses, the Pranosa of the Satwan. So they made a whole, a full trade show for Satwan. So, uh, so uh, for instance, if you wanted uh, to buy a baseball bat to beat up, to do a chapsum, they probably had a chapsum booth. No, but it was a regular, it was a regular, uh, it was regular businesses. I don't think it was exclusively for summer, but they made a show. No, I think it was not summer also. Okay. No, no, but it was, it was, it was sponsored by summer. Summer was trying to help people grow their businesses. What, was it in Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they, whatever happened, they had good food there. Yeah. Like says, if a woman becomes nevelas in a wagon, Frank the Gemara, the Kroinus like an Eidach. Why in the world is it relevant to where this where this occurred? Ella, what it means is nevelas bishas Kroinus. If a woman was nevelas in a time where the city is overrun with convention goers, then she's Ksheir Lekahuna, provided that the city is also Roy Ksheir Lekahuna. So there's a double right here. And when there's a double right here, then even Rabbi Yeshua will agree that she's Kosher Lekahuna. But what if someone's just in a city where there's Roy Ksheir, there have La Chisuki, the blood would be also. So we have to go back to the Mishnah. And we have to say that the Mishnah, where Rabbi Yoshi says, if it was Roy Vanchayir or Ksherim, it's kosher. That's only if, in addition to the fact that Roy that city was Ksherim, there was a big convention going on. And most of the people that came to town were also Ksherim. But that double Roy, even Rabbi Yeshua would agree that it that we was there. Sorry? That's why I said if it was a Satman convention, you know they're mostly Satman. So you're still, you ask, I'm closer. How do you know? No, for so I you might do the Satman Okay. Okay. Kiha, the Kiyosa Rabdimi, Omar Zairi, Omar Abchanina. Either either it's quoted in the name of Chanina through Rabdimi and Rabziri, or for Amilo Omar Zairi, Omar Chanina, and there was no Rabdimi involved. And what did they say? Hoyochen Acha Roy for ear. Then Hoyochen Acha. Roy Sia. You follow Roy of the ear, but you don't follow Roy of the convention. So, what does this mean? Kalapelaya, what exactly does this mean? Kineged Efei Hadover Zechsaif. What exactly is, does this mean that you go buster Roy of the ear and you don't go buster Roy of Sia? Frankly, more. Oh, Chaim, I get more. Okay, good. Well, well, we're happy to have you. We already spoke out at the beginning of the year that we, 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 should, we should learn that it should be a schiz for you, that it should go fast and easy. If I look at uh, the visa hostess, if I see it, can I see the black gemura also? Or yes. I can only see your face. No, you can okay, see the so black gemura. So I'll try to log in. From the computer. Okay, the volume. Okay, the volume. The volume. Continue. Okay, Hani Naidi, correct me if Hani Naidi, the Hani Kvi. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it. The people who are coming from the convention, they're uprooted from their place. They don't belong here. But the people in the city, they do belong here. The Kaimi, and we know the halacha is the Hani Kvi, the Kaimi. So Rashi tells us, Rashi tells us that we know there's a famous halacha that we learned a long time ago and learned it many, many times before, since since then. And that is, kol kavua kamech tzamech. We talked about that plaza, and that's going to be the subject of today's Gemara. There was a plaza with nine stores that sold kosher, and the tenth store sold treif. And you went into one of the stores and you bought meat, you don't know where you bought it. Kol kavua kamech tzamech it has it in a 50 50, it's going to be awesome. But if you found the meat in the parking lot, so it's parish, the shaila is in a place after it's not in the in its, in its mukham, then you go bus right. 
So if if these men are in their city, if the men are in their city, they would be considered kavua, particularly if, we're, as we'll see soon in the Gemara, if maybe she went and had relations with a man in his house. So that's just like going into a butcher store and you don't know which butcher store you went into. So even if Roy, the people in the city are kosher, but if she went into their house to have this relationship, then it's kavua kamech tamech I'm sorry? No, we're not. No, we're no longer discussing the Mishnah's case. We we've, we've digressed to a different case of of a woman who did znos, and we don't know who. Um, so the Gemara says. So the Gemara says over here. Why would you say that roiv ha'ir is what you need and not roiv sia? To the contrary, roiv ha'ir. The possibility is is that it was kavul kamechta mechta. Roiv sia. They're for sure not in their place. So they're for sure you go basaron. Ella. It would be more logical to say that you, you can go bust a right here, but that's only if we also have the right of the people who are here from out of town, they're also sharing. But the ain hochen acher roi for your great dosser. And you would not be able to go bust a right here by itself because you have the problem of maybe kol kavua kamechza mechza. But lo acher roi siya great dosser. And you cannot follow just the roiv of the people from Adam. Why not? There it's a perfect roiv. Dr. Gemara, my time, Xera, roiv siya, utter roiv here. If we are matter woman, because roiv of the people who came from out of town are in Purim, we might also come to be matter a woman, even if only, even if only the roiv here is mutter. Anytime you can say the parish, you should be going to the parish, also the no, over here, over here, they're both happening at the same time. So, which means it's high right here, and Sai, In that case, if it was, if it was, if you went into a store, there's no right at all. Here, you have a right. On the one hand, you have a right. On the one hand, you don't have a right. So, just re rely on one right alone. The right see alone. The right see alone would be enough to be matter. And that's why, if it's right see and it's Roy Vahir, then we will be Matter. It's just one without the other, we're not Matter here, because we might be Matter here based on Roy Vahir alone. But always requiring both, then we won't be confused. So my time, Xavier Roy Vahir, Utter Roy Vahir. Therefore, you need both. Frankly, more, I don't understand. What's the problem with Roy Vahir? Roy Vahir Nami, Idika Osli in Hilda Gaba, if they're coming into her bedroom, well, then don't you have the same header of Kol de Parish, Maruba Parish? That's true, but we're concerned that it won't occur that way. We're concerned. Ika Rashi changes the gears of a Motricha. The Rashi Ika, it could happen because the Ielagabai. What if the this thing occurs in their bedroom? The Havala Kavua. So since since it's possible that she went to their bedroom, we don't know. Since it's possible that she went to their bedroom. Therefore, we insist on having that the city was overrun, having that second roy, where the city was overrun, and the roy of the people that are that are parish, even if they're in their their hotel, but they're parish. Now, so, so you have for sure that roy. That's why you need both. Because the question is: Is did she go into the butcher store, or did the meat, or did she? Where did she find the meat? Literally, did she find the meat in the butcher store? Or did the meat come out and she found the meat in the parking lot? So if she went into the store or went into her, their house, then it's a dinner of Kol Kavua, Kamech Talmach. Okay. So therefore, we're Makbut on having both. We're Makbut on having two rights. Okay. Zok Tehel Gemur Vajra. Vamar Abzeira. Vamar Abzeira, Kol Kavua, Kamech Talmach. And Abzeira said, Kol Kavua, Kamech Talmach. And if she went into their even if Roy the men are kosher, they would pose a problem. Therefore, we don't like at all to rely on the Roy of the men of the city. So if there's also the Roy of the people who are from out of the city are also kosher, then we will be made. Even according to Rabbi Shua, is what the Gemara is saying. Gemara, <coughs> do you require two rights? Is that true that you need two rights? We don't find, like Abi Isra that you need two rights. But Tanya, we learned, 
Teisha Chanuyos. If you have nine Chanuyos, this is the classic textbook case. Kulon Moichos Bosher Shchuta. All of these Chanuyos sell Bosher Shchuta. The Achas Moichos Bosher Nevele. And one of the stores sells Bosher Nevele. The Lokach Me'echel Mehen. You walked into one of the stores, you purchased meat, but the Eni Yedea Me'eze Mehen Lokach. You don't know which one. Sveika Yosher. That blibes like a suffix of 50-50. Because it's called Kavuka Mechta Mechta, you went into the store. Uva Nimsa, but if you merely found meat in the parking lot, then Halach Achar Roiv, you can assume it came from the Roiv. But it says, Uva Nimsa, Halach Achar Roiv. There's only one Roiv, there's Roiv a year. You don't find it, you need two Roivs. So why is it that you're saying, according to Rabbi Yeshua, only two Roivs will allow her children to marry Kaluna? You see, in the case of Isavah Heter, where one Roiv is enough. The Chitem, if you're going to tell me, if you're going to say that this is a city where people are there from all over the world, and therefore you have two roads, like Rashi says. You have two roads over here because people are available from all over the world. Or Rashi says, or if you say roib of the people who sell meat in that country are also eaten, then you have the roib of the city and the roib of the country. So so, and if you say that's the case, so you have two rives as well. And in every case of Isra Heter, you need two rives. That's not true. Even though the city, uh, the doors of the city are sealed. So you see, with only the rive of the city, one rive alone, we're going to be matter. So, so why in our case, with the women, do we say that you need a second rive? You can go boss a right with one right. We're talking about the Maila So by one right is enough. You go boss a right. Here it's a question of Marin Kahuna. When it comes to Marin Kahuna, we're we're more mocked than usual, and therefore Rabbi Yeshua requires two rights. So let me ask you a Zach question. You have you have a boss that was parched. Busser that was parched. So you go busser right. Nine stores are kosher and ten and one only one store is trade, right? What happens if you're in a city where some people cut the meat in the shape of a square and some people cut the meat in the shape of a triangle? And right of the stores, indeed, nine stores are kosher, and the tenth store uh, is trade. But what if, what if? you have all of the kosher stores each have 10 pieces of meat and out of the 10 pieces of meat that they have all of the meat um is square and only one piece of meat is triangle and in the goyish store there's 10 pieces of meat that are all triangles and you found a piece of meat that's a triangle so you go boss of the roy with the stores or do you go boss of the roy of the triangular cut meat so there is such a shayla that's that's kapaskin that you don't you don't care once you know that roy of the meat in the city is basher shkuta no matter what shape you found the meat in it would still be more so it, this roy issue could become complex um, due to the details okay so we have we have, we have this rule we've talked about it so many times kol kavua kamechza mechza uvenimza if it was parish you go basher right where does this rule come from did you ever wonder where this rule came from. So today we're going to discover where this rule came. Goof Omar Bzeir. Kokavuka Mafa Mata Dummy Bain Lukula Bain Lukum. That that we say it's 50 50, it's a deraisa, and therefore whether it's Lukum or Lukula, it's still 50 50. We know later Abzeira. Where did Abzeira know this from? Eleven Mitesha Khanuyas. If he knows that it's Bain Lukum or Bain Lukula, if he knows it from the case of Tesha Khanuyas that we discussed, where it's Kulan Marcus Bas or Shuta, the Achas Bas and Avela, the Lokach Meachas man. Went into one of the stores, but the Eino Yedem Eizem and Lokach Sveika Yasser. When Nim Talach Acharayiv, there you only see the Chumra. Hashem the Chumra. We're saying that it's also from the eat the meat, even though Rov the stores are kosher. Where do you see even Lokula? Ela Mitishes Tzvardim. You have nine frogs. Frogs are not Shrotim. Frogs are not Tomei when they die. But the Sheretz Echad Benim. There's one Sheretz amongst them. Rashi says a Tzav. Maybe a Tzav is a lizard. It looks like a frog. So you have nine frogs and one lizard. 
you touch the one of them, again, that's Kavua. You touch them. And you don't know which one you touch. You are Tommy. If you're Tommy, that's a Chumar. Where do you see that Kavua, Kamasa Mesa, is even Lakula? Ella, Mitisda Shrotzim, Vitzaradea Echadini. If there are nine Shrotzim and there was one Sardea. So now it's Roy that whatever you touched was Tommy. The Naga Be'echad Mehem, you touched one of these things, they were dead. The Enyer Deh Be'ezim and Naga, and you don't know which one you touched. So there's a halacha, Safek Tuma, Rishos Harabim, Sveke Tahar, and Safek Tuma, Rishos Yachad, Sveke Tahar. So you have here a Roy. It's Roy, the Roy of them are going to be Tommy. It's only one Sardea. Rishos Yachad, Sveke Tahar. If this Safek occurred in Rishos Yachad, Safek Tuma, Rishos Yachad, Sveke Tahar. But Rishos Harabim, Sveke Tahar. If this occurred, which is Rabbi Tzvei So what do you have over here? You have nine things that if you touch them, they're Tomei. You have nine Shratim. And only one out of these 10 things, if you touch it, you're Tar. And we're saying that it has the status of a 50-50. Because if it, was, if it didn't have the status of a 50-50, if you had a real Rabe over here, well then, in Bishus Rabbi, you couldn't say Tzvei because you have a roi. It's not a sofik. Sofik means a 50-50 sofik. If you have a roi that are tmein, and only one, that's tar, you can't say b'shus harabim, s'feik tar. You have a roi that's mabarit. So for the fact that we apply the rule of sofik tumma, b'shus harabim, s'feik tar, when you touched one out of ten, and nine out of ten, were for sure tame, that shows us that kol kavul kamech salmechta, even the kula. Because here, considering it mech salmechta, is in fact the kula, because that allows us to apply the rule of Sveikai Tar, which is a proof. So you see the principle of Kolkavuka Mechsa even applies by Deiraisa. So now that we know that Kolkavuka Mechsa applies by Deiraisa, now we need to know where the Torah says this. When we Deiraisa, we know Where do you see this in the Torah? So this finally we unlock a, 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 a idea that we've had all our life, and now we'll know where it comes from. Amakra, it says in the Pasuk, what a shame we never got up to here. And when we learn Ksubis and Yeshiva, it's already the Taf Taf Tasvo, right? Omicron, the Pazuk says, when it comes to killing somebody, when is someone Chayiv, Misa, if he kills another Yid, the Arab Loy, if he, if he ambushes him, the Kamala. If someone is actively planning and trying to kill somebody, that's called first degree murder, there was intent and there was planning, then he's Chayiv for this person. So we learn, and the Tanakam, I believe, is Rav Shimon, says that let's say there's two Yidin, and you want to shoot and kill Ruben, and you don't have a good aim, and by mistake, you shot and killed Shimon, even though you wanted to kill a Jew, and you killed a Jew, but since you didn't kill the Jew that you intended to kill, that's not Chayiv Misa. So you have that Tavana to kill a person, and then you have to kill the person that you were machaven to kill, otherwise you're not going to be chayiv misa as a ritzayach. I'm sure you're not going to go to get, you're not going to you go to get naked for it, but the, the chayiv misa for killing somebody is only if you plan to kill a specific person and you kill that specific person. But the Rabbanon argued, the Rabbanon said if you were machaven to kill a yid and you killed another yid, you're also chayiv misa for it. Rabbanon Amri, Tiver Abiyanai, Prat Lezorik Even Legav. What you learn from Barbara Leib Kamalov is if I throw a stone into a group of people, as some are goyim, some are yidin, that is not chayv misa. Unless you know for sure there was a yid that was going to be killed. Hey, chidami. So what exactly is the case of Zerk Evan Lagav that the Pasuk is saying is potter? And that we need a Pasuk to teach us that it's potter. What if there's nine goyim and there's one yid amongst them? And the Torah is telling you a chidish, that in this case, if you threw a stone and it happened to have hit the one yid amongst the nine goyim, that you would be put. I don't need that. But typically, the rubik nainimim, even if the Torah wouldn't have said anything and we didn't know anything about kol kavul we even if we didn't know anything about this, we would still know, we would follow the rules of Roy, it's Roy Knainim, and it would be putter. So why do I need the puzzle to come out and tell me in this case, without the Torah telling me anything special by Ritzicha, I would know that this person would be 
Inami, Pavel, Pavel. Even if there was five Jews and five Goyim in a group, and someone threw a stone and it hit one of Eden, there's a 50 50 chance he would still be Pavel because we always give the Ritzayach the benefit of the doubt because Sabbat Nefashis Lahaka. And Rashi says, we know it from a Pasuk that says, we know it from a Pasuk that says, we always have to try to find ways to exonerate a person who would otherwise be high of Misa. So even 50 50 would be locked. So Lloyd Shrika, it must be the Katisha Yisraelim Uknaimi Echad Benin. The case that the Torah is telling us, where we would have otherwise thought you're high, and the Torah is telling you, Chidish, that by your potter, is even if there were nine Yid and one Goy. So if you would find, so if you would find um, the Roy, it would for sure be Chayiv. So without the Torah telling us a special Lacha Baruchicha, I would assume it's Chayiv. And the Torah is telling me, no, here it's Potter. Why? Why is it Potter? The Havali Kanani Kavua. Even though there's even though there's nine Yisraelim and one Kanani, so the Roy should say that he should be Chayiv. But since the rock is going to them, the Kanani is Kavua. The Chol Kavua Kamech Tal Mechzadam. So you have a Deraisa which is by Ritzicha, telling us a rule that when it's Kavua, when you throw a rock into 10 people, even though nine of them are Yisraelim, and one of them is a guy, which means the Roy should normally tell me that he should be, he should be Chayev. Nevertheless, he's still going to be Potter. And from here you learn, Kol Kavua Kamech Tzal It blives like a Suffolk. And we know that by Suffolk Nefashish Lahokel, he just says, Vichilu'e. So this is the Makar, so the Makar of Kalkavul Kamechta Mechta now is from Ritzicha, where the Torah tells us if you throw a rock into a group where there's nine Yid and only one guy, it's considered 50 50 and he's going to be part. Beautiful. Itmar. Rabchibayashi Omarab Halacha Krab Yoisi. Halacha is like Krab Yoisi in our Mishnah. And at this point, Rashi tells us that it's Halacha Krab Yoisi, but it's 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 like you just to imagine if you weren't here yesterday and you just tuned in, you just tuned in to to the Gemara and you don't even know that what we learned this morning that there's a double roiv in our mind. There's just a single roiv, and that's what the Gemara assumes now is when Rabbi Barashi said in the name of Rab that Allah it means even with a single roiv. Rab Chanan Bar Rabba Amar Rab Hayrasha The Allah is not like a nowadays. You wouldn't rely on the Roy. Rather, it was just a Hira Shah at that time. They saw a reason to say that she should be mother, but you cannot bring a Raya that that's a Lachal Amais. Mother Rabbi Yirmi, Rabbi Yirmi asked the Kash, Ula Yuxin, Loiba in and Trey Ruben, are you trying to tell me that for Yuxin, you don't need two Ruben and you don't need two Roy's? Because Rashi sells here again. Again, we're, we're, we're working with someone who didn't learn the Gemara that we learned today. And he thought that in our Mishnah, Rabbi Yossi was Matir, and there was only one right. So the Gemara's challenge is, we already know this is not true, because we already learned at the beginning of the Daft today that's been with the two right. But again, we're starting from scratch now. But now, we learned in the Mishnah, what if you find an abandoned child in a city where it's where Yisraelim and Goyim live there? You have a city where both Jews and Goyim live, and you find an abandoned child. So what how do you treat this child? If rival the people are Goyim in this city, then you treat this child like a Goyim. In Rav Yisrael, if Rav the people are Yisraelim, you treat it like a Yi. And if it's Mechza Mechza, if it's 50 50, then you still treat it like a Yisrael. Like Abi Wat Halacha, you treat the cut like Yisrael. You let this child marry a Kayin, it might be a Goyin. Rab said, even by Roy Yisrael, even by Roy Yisrael, you cannot allow them to marry Kahuna. Rather, all it means is, is that you're Mechuyiv to take care of this child. You can't abandon it. Bezdin has to. Take this child and care for the child. That's where social services are. It says, So therefore, if it's Roy Yisrael, you have a Chiyav to take care of the child. Even if it's Roy Yisrael, we would not allow 
this child to marry a kohen. Ushmul Omar, lefakeach ola vesagal. Shmuel says, what if this child is in danger on Shabbos? Are you allowed to be mechal Shabbos to save this child? Zog Shmuel, if Roif people in the city are Jews, you're allowed to uh, save this child's life, even though it involves Chil Shabbos. We, we, we have to get to the end of the Gemara. Yeah. Is that the most raya that it could do? Again, if it's a bell? No. No, it's, it's still, still not Yosin. So you see from here that Liyuksin Loi, even if it's Roy Yisrael, it's not with Liyuksin. So how could you say And we're saying one Roy is enough. I over here, you have one Roy, and it's still not good enough for Yuksin. Zakta Gemara is the Mitzi Hadam Rudam Rahab. You forgot the Gemara we learned this morning. The Kronish shall see Pure have a Misa. There was a double Roy. So in fact, our, our Bryce is right. One Roy will not be matter uh, the, the child of Yuxin. This child wouldn't be able to marry a coin. You need two roads, just like we learned uh, this morning. And this all follows the sheet of Rabbi Shua, right? Ulu Rabchan and Barova. According to Rabchan and Barova, the Amar Rosh Haisa, we just learned that Amar Rosh Haisa. Barova said that the Psach of Rabbi Yosi is only a Rosh and you can't bring a Raya to the rest of the times. Kasha, it's going to be schwer. Because that saying, that saying that even with two roves, even with two roves, it wouldn't be enough. Rosh is kosher had a rav. Don't have a yuchsan loy. I'm a rav. Trey rube boy. You need to see from rav that you need two roves. So let's see Rosh. Rosh oisa. The hasam trey rube hab. If you learn a rosh oisa, what it means to say is a prashi that in the case of Rabbi there were two roves, and even though there were two roves. He still says the Ka'amar Hayrosha Isa. It was a Rosha, it was a Rosha with two roves to say that she should need two roves. Abu the Dairois, Loiba Indian Trebuba. Now maybe the way the Gemara is learning now is the Hayrosha is the opposite. The Rosha is that one rove wasn't enough, you need two roves, but normally you don't need one roive. If that's the case, then it's Kasha Hadu Amar Rav, because Rav over here was the Dairois, and Rav said one rove wasn't enough. If you learn that the two roves are only uh, Rasha, there, there was a special humor that you needed two rives. Well, over here, over here, then one rive should be enough. Yet Rav says one rive is not enough. So tomorrow, if that's what Rav Hanan said, then you have to say, then you have to say, man the masni ha, loy masni ha. The person who said Rasha can't hold that it's two rives. That's two rives. So Rav says loy masni ha. The Amr Rabbi Yudam Rav, the Kranish al Tzipari have a Misa. The Chad Ruba Hava, Hilcha Chayrosh Shah Paisa. So basically, if you hold the Chayrosh Shah, then you're going to learn that the Mishnah was not with two rights. The Mishnah was only one right, and the Chayrosh Shah, even though Rabbi Shu would normally ask her, was a Rosh Shah, but only the two rights. If you learn those things with two rights, and it's not a Rosh Shah, then, then it's, it was, uh, you need two rights there, and that's how it is the Darius as well. So you, to the man number who says the Mishnah is a Rosh Shah, will not learn that there were two rights with it. Okay, so Dr. Gamar Vaidya, Gufa. Much of a tinnik mushka. Now we have to get into finding an abandoned child. How do you do it in an abandoned child? Imre Rav Yitzchakim, Rav Yitzchakim. Imre Rav Yisrael, Yisrael. Matzal Matzal, you treat it like a Yisrael. So now let's see the law. Amar Rav Loi Shanu. That you say you need Roy Yisrael El Lachiyosoi. That's only to to uh, sustain this child. Avul Yuchsin Loi. Ushmul Amar Lefakeich Olav Esakal. You have to save the child and child. Correct the Gemara. This is going to get into Dovi's question. When we Amar Shmuel Lachi, the Shmuel actually. Say this: the the leinian pikiach nefesh being in the ruba. Did Shmuel say that leinian pikiach nefesh? So Shmuel is going on roi Yisrael. You treat it like Yisrael. I mean, if it's roi Yisrael, only then could you be mechal <clears throat> Shabbos to save this child. It's not true. Amar Rabbi Yosef, Amar Rabbi Yudam, Amar Shmuel, ain't holchem be pikiach nefesh acher roi. Like Dovi said, by a tzala, you don't only save somebody if it's roi. You actually save somebody even if you don't have a roi. <coughs> Rashi says that Philip Roy won't be the Chavim Mefakchin. They know from Bachai Roy. When it's Shalat Pikuach Nefesh, you don't follow Roy. How do you know how Tzala goes? Well, because they don't ask everybody, are you Jewish? Well, for most people, Chavim Tzala are. So, right. I don't know if they're Bachai Roy. Right. I hear that's a Kukubi, but you don't need Roy. 
even if you don't have the roiv, even if there's a small chant that is Jewish, they're allowed to be mechal shabbos. I got to six of these. I got to get to the mishnah, then we'll talk. Ella, he eat more the shmuel. So what did shmuel say? Where is it relevant? Where do I? Where is it relevant for pikuach nevish? I raise it more. Meaning, in roiv oiv kachavim, if it's roiv goyim, then it's a noiv kachavim. And on that shmuel said, ulavakeach all of us a gal ain't okay. If if even if you have roiv oiv kachavim. And we say Lagabi certain halachas, we can assume this child is a, is a goy, but Lagab is saving his life or her life on Shabbos, even if it's Roy Bhakti you would save the child's life. Now it does say in Roy Bhakti So what Lagabi, what halacha do we say that you treat it like a goy? If the city is Roy Bhakti you have to take care of the child, but you can feed the child Navelas because you can assume it's a goy who's allowed to eat Navelas. In Roy Yisrael, Yisrael. But if it's Roy Yisrael, then it, 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 you treat it like a Jew. Rabbi, what? Do you treat it like a Jew? Amra Papa, Lahachser Loy Aveda. They return Aveda. And we actually learned earlier, Lachiyosa. Here the Gemara is saying another thing that you would have to return it to Aveda because you're not allowed to return an Aveda to a guy. Rashi brings out from Sukkim, you're not allowed to return an Aveda to a guy. Find his keepers, lose his weepers, is Allah Chalamais, but it applies to a guy. So Yid, you have to give him his Aveda back. Zok to Gemara, Machsa Machsa Yisrael Lo Mayofisa. Lagabi Wad Alocha. There's a bright say that it's fifty-fifty. We treat it like a yid. Omer Shlogesh Lo Nezokin. Lagabi Nezokin. How is it relevant? Hachidam. Now the Alocha is if a yid's ox gores a, uh, another yid's ox. If a yid ox stoices another yid's ox, the first time it's a tam, you pay chatzinezek. The second time it's a tam, you pay chatzinezek. The third time it's a mood, you pay nezek shalom. Right? But what if a goy's ox gores a yid's ox? He always pays in the soul. What if a yid's ox stoices a goy's ox? He doesn't pay at all. So now it's going to be relevant if this child is Jewish or not. So let's figure out how to, let's figure out a case. Hey, Chidami. In name did not get tour the don the tour today. What if a Jew's ox stoices the ox of this child and this child grew up and now his ox got gored? So the halach is leimalei. You don't treat this like a Jew. Leimalei. The mazik who's the Jew will tell the nizik who's the suffix. I see right Yisraelah. Prove that you're a Yisrael, who's coil, and then I'll pay you. But if you're not a, you can't prove you're a Yid, I'm not going to pay you. So, Lloyd Shricha, where is the Negei Takei? The Nakhet Tur the day, the Tur the day. What if his ox stoys my ox? So, Palga Mishal, Mimanashik, whether he's a Yid or a Goy, he for sure has to pay Chatzinez. So, for sure, he pays Chatzinez. The Idich Palga, but he'll tell you if you want to say you're a Goy and you owe me Nezak Shalem, he'll tell you, Amr Lahu, it's 50 50. I have a din of a Yid. I see right the law of Yisrael and then that and the If you want to extract to me as a shalim, even though my shore is a short time, you have to first prove that I'm a goy. So here you have a case where it's 50 percent yid, 50 percent goy, and we treat him like a yid, and we don't force it to pay as a shalim because it remains a suffer. Okay. So before we finish the paragraph, we need to have enough tools. This is had enough tools. This is had enough tools. This is had enough tools. It's Oh, I I was I I think there are a lot. There's also a proof. There's also a, 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 there's also a factor of Ava involved. I, mean, I don't know all the laws. Chaim Zomer Fi Shalayman. Shazana Minayin She Nitin Shish Lerapa Lerapa Shazana Lerapa Yerapa 